<laughs> Hello. What's good? Welcome to another top ten video. Um, top ten at SeaWorld San Antonio. Yay. What's up, Thrill Seekers? So today I am going to be ranking all of the roller coasters at SeaWorld San Antonio. It is another one of my home parks. Um, Six Flags Fiesta Texas as well as SeaWorld San Antonio are both my home parks. And I go there as much as I possibly can. Um, so usually like once a month, um, depending on when it is. Um, but anyways, um, today I'm going to be ranking every single coaster at uh, SeaWorld San Antonio. There are only five there, um, and one of them is a water coaster, um, and one of them is a um, kitty coaster. So, um, not really much to rank, but um, I will still do this ranking video for y'all. Uh, so yeah, let's start it off. Starting it off with number five is Super Grover's Boxcar Derby, um, which is the re-theme of uh, Shamu Express. I had the opportunity to ride Shamu Express, um, but not Super Grover's Boxcar Derby. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I still am counting it like I got the credit, and I don't really need to get a new credit because it's just a re-theme versus a relocation or a... Um, or, like, anything where they change the layout in any way. Um, so, yeah. Um, but, yeah, starting it off with number five, uh, or at number five, just because it's a kiddie coaster. Um, pretty boring, nothing too much. Um, but pretty much every park needs to have a kiddie coaster. Um, so, uh, this is, this is that. <laughs> at number four is Journey to Atlantis, which is their, um, their water coaster. And it is a pretty fun ride. It's a pretty basic coaster. All it does is it goes up a lift hill, um, goes onto an actual turntable, um, and it spins you around, I think, like one and a half times. Um, and then you drop down backwards, which is pretty fun. Um, you drop down backwards, um, pull into another turntable that turns you back forwards, and you go down the final drop into the splashdown. Um, overall, you don't really get any airtime or anything along those lines, um, but it is definitely a fun ride and pretty uh, a pretty good ride to cool off. You do actually get a, um, a quite a bit wet on this ride. Um, lots of these sort of water coaster style rides, um, maybe not water coasters, but these kind of boat water rides. Um, when you go down the drop, the water more sprays out than at you, um, but this is definitely not the case for Journey to Atlantis. You definitely do get completely sprayed right in the face, um, especially if you're sitting in the front row, which is what we did. Um, so yeah, that's, that's Journey to Atlantis. Definitely good that they put it kind of farther away from all of the other coasters, um, although that will change a little bit um, once uh, Texas Stingray opens, um, which is decently close, um, but it is, for um, at the moment, decently far away from all of the coasters, so if you need to cool off on a hot summer day, um, or even like a hot winter day in Texas, honestly, um, then you can go on to uh, Journey to Atlantis, and by the time you get to another coaster, you will be, at least for the most part, dried off, so you don't have to worry about getting the seats wet, um, which is always good. At the number three spot is a Batman the Ride clone, and that is Great White. Um, so, yeah, Great White um, is the Batman the Ride clone, like I said, at uh, SeaWorld San Antonio, and it's pretty okay. Um, I mean, it's pretty much a pretty classic Batman the Ride clone. 
probably one of my favorites, um, just because um, it's incredibly smooth, definitely no headbanging, at least from what I experience, um, especially if you ride towards the front, um, then you get no headbanging whatsoever. Um, it is definitely a pretty forceful ride, but not so forceful where it hurts. Um, just in that, lots of um, B&M inverts, when they get super forceful, all of the blood rushes down to your feet, um, and that hurts um, naturally because, you know, you're not getting any blood in your legs, um, or there's too much blood in your legs is what I should say. Um, so it hurts, um, but this ride is perfectly in the middle where it's still super forceful, um, and the blood kind of starts to rush down there, um, but it's not enough where it like hurts really bad. Um, so probably one of my, if not my favorite, uh, Batman the Ride clones, uh, and definitely something that I would ride at least once or twice um, every time I go to uh, SeaWorld San Antonio. Now getting into um, the top two and starting it off with an actual family coaster, um, which is Wave Breaker. Um, Wave Breaker is, like I said, a family coaster and it's a family launched coaster um, and it's pretty fun. Um, the launches are decently forceful, um, which is super cool and um, overall it's just a really, really, really fun ride. Um, again, decently forceful launches, enough to definitely set you back into your seat, um, and just kind of whooshing around, um, through, like, on top of the water is pretty fun. Um, the cars are definitely something that I like, just because, um, they are definitely more open. Um, you don't really feel enclosed, you really feel free on the ride. Like you can like really um, reach and move around in the seats, which is uh, pretty cool and honestly kind of scary just because it does give the um, illusion or feeling that you you can easily fly out. Um, but it's super fun ride, um, kind of like a mini cheetah hunt type of thing, um, which is pretty cool uh, in terms of like the layout. So yeah, great ride. I love it. Um, and moving on to uh, the number one coaster. And very predictably, um, the number one coaster is Steel Eel, which is a Morgan Hyper Coaster or Mini Hyper Coaster um, because it is actually only 150 feet tall. Um, even though it might be a little bit shorter than most Morgan Hyper Coasters, um, it is still definitely a super fun ride that definitely packs a punch um, and packs some insanely good airtime in it. Something that I do like about this ride is the first drop um, actually kind of um, starts off a little bit less banked and then it really like has a point where it sharply um, angles down, um, which is pretty cool because it definitely does um, give a lot of airtime, um, especially in the back and kind of the middle rows. Um, some people have said that it's better towards the front. I personally disagree, just because you do get an insane amount of airtime towards the back row, but I do have to say that it's really good in any row. Um, so really, it does not matter too much where you sit on this coaster, because um, you get airtime in any row that you sit in, um, especially the back, of course. Um, but yeah, you get an insane amount of airtime on the drop, um, an insane amount of airtime on pretty much every single hill after that. Something that I do not like about this coaster um, is just that um, every time you have airtime, every time like the coaster levels out, it levels out so sharply that you really like slam down into the train. Um, and that might also be partially due to um, how loose the lap bars are, which is super cool because you get an insane amount of airtime, but super not cool because you get airtime and then you slam down at the end. 
Um, so the first time you ride it, you might be like, oh, that was not that fun because um, I kept slamming down. It was kind of rough. Um, but once you ride it over and over again, you get used to it and realize how to position yourself uh, so that you don't slam down uh, at least as hard um, at the end of the ride So or at the end of the hills. So... Yeah, um, once you kind of figure that out, this is definitely an insanely amazing ride. That is, I think, in my top 15 coasters that I've been on. So that is my list of all of the roller coasters at SeaWorld San Antonio. If you want to see the vlog that I did from SeaWorld San Antonio, you can click right up here in the corner. Um, you can also check out other top 10s that I've done. I've done um, Knott's Berry Farm, um, SeaWorld, or sorry, Busch Gardens, Williamsburg, um, Six Flags Magic Mountain, St. Louis, Fiesta, Texas, and Over Texas. Pretty much every single park that I've been to in the past year, um, I have done a top 10 video on it. So go check out that playlist right up there in the corner and check out all of my other top 10 videos. Um, and yeah, that's really it for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, definitely like it. Um, it definitely like just kind of gives me a sense of how much you guys like these videos um, by how many likes it gets. Um, and it also makes me feel good. So yeah. Um, also comment below on your thoughts on my list. Um, if you agree with all of my points, then definitely say like, I completely agree with you. Um, and if you uh, don't, then tell me where you don't agree with me. Um, and yeah, that's really it for this video. Like I said, um, I will see you guys all next time. Peace.